Hi Cathy, it's James from Just Compare Cars. Just been speaking to you on the phone and also on email. Um, so, as requested, I'm just going to do a quick walk around video of the um, L200 Barbarian. Um, I like to commonly call these uh, warts and all, if you like. It's obviously, people like yourself that aren't really very close and can't just come and pop and see the vehicle straight away. Um, this gives you a decent idea of what the vehicle is like before you set off. Um, <coughs> so that you can make an informed decision about buying it. And obviously by the sounds of it, you've been shattered this morning quite heavily, so I want to make sure that obviously you've got a decent experience with this one. Um, as I say, it didn't arrive until probably Wednesday or Thursday this week. Um, and it's quite keen to point out that it's a used pickup truck, so it's not a car, it's obviously been used at some point for a work environment, I would guess. Um, however, price I'm actually quite surprised because it's very clean. Um, I know that a lot of these will have a lot of dents, rust, marks, scratches and I can't see anything really detrimental on this if I'm honest. Um, obviously it's, it's got uh, an element of, uh, as you can see, leaves and tree crap that's uh, fall off it because this is where you know, we are as you can probably see. Of the amount of vehicles we've got, there's a lot more just up there as well. Uh, you can't see. I think we've got about probably 80 or 90 vehicles in stock at the minute on site, and we've probably got another 20 or 30 that uh, are in different levels of being prepared. Right, so um, I'll start at the front. Um, what I'll do, I'll pick out anything that sticks out to me. Um, can't see anything massively on it, to be honest with you. There's a little, you can see that there. It's like a stone chip, it's going to fill it in obviously. Obviously, it's a bit of a bonus you're going to get one. We uh, we either give you one or we don't, to be honest with you. If they've uh, not got one, we do keep a few in stock. Uh, nothing at all for the minute for the uh, L200. Bear me one second, the phone's ringing. I'm on my own, so I have to answer it. Good afternoon, just come back cars. James speaking, how can I help? I say again, sorry. Taxi, you've got the wrong number up. That's all right. Bye. Unfortunately, we don't do taxis, Kathy. <laughs> Unless they want to buy an old one to use for a taxi, I don't know. Anyway, so I wish you got the number for that. So looking around the back, obviously got a bit of it, bit of bird poo, but nothing serious. Um, so you mentioned the canopy was a bit crap on the other one. This one looks nice and secure. If you can see that, it's secure, it's short. Uh, everything seems to work. It joins up nicely. The bed's nice and clean. There's no obvious gouging or anything in there, so that would suggest it's not been used for heavy, heavy amounts of work. Um, round the other side. Oh, I didn't look at the wheel there. Sorry about that. Hold on. So, passenger side rear, there's a bit of paint lift on it. It's just commensurate with the age, I suppose. Uh, there's no curbing. And again, it's a matching Bridgestone Jewel attire. Round to the other side, do the mirror thing again. 
as you can see, hopefully there's no scratches and dints on there. I can't see anything that's sticking out to me massively. Um, again, matching Bridgestone tyre. As you can hopefully see, the wheel's nice and clean. If you get a little bit of that lifting on it, I don't know what really that is. It looks like it may be got some water ingress underneath the actual paint. Obviously it's just commensurate with the age, I suppose. On the roof. Unfortunately there's a lot of leaves so you can't see much, but it's, it is quite clean and tidy. Hopefully you can see that from the video. Down the panel again. Front wing. That's a mark there, if it's bird poo, I don't know if I dare touch it, it's bird poo, I've got it all over my hands now, great. Uh, front driver's side wheel, we've got a little bit of kerb in there. All done, that's it, nice and clean. And again, Bridgestone, matching, plenty of tread. Right, so have a quick look inside. Obviously it's done 90 something thousand, 98 thousand miles, it's got wear. Um, to wear on the driver's seat, obviously where someone's got in and out. Other than that, the seat's nice and tidy, clean. The leather looks good everywhere else. In fact, I would say, I'd go out on a limb and say, I don't think the back seats have been used by the look of it. Doesn't look like it anyway. Nice and tidy. Passenger side seat is also very good. Now, I don't know if you can do it with these, but you used to be able to swap the seat over. So you can put the passenger seat in the driver's seat and swap it over. I don't know if you can do that with these or not. It's worth looking at. Um, steering wheel's a bit battered. Um, it looks like someone's used gloves to drive in. And it always knackers the steering wheel when they do that. Obviously, remember that the steering wheel's completely replaceable, so that's something that you can do. Um, that's not very good, I don't think. I suppose, I think I would do with that. If I'm honest, I would probably cut that. We get a Stanley blade, cut that there, and cut it down there, and you could actually remove that top part of the leather, and underneath is another secondary leather, and that would be all right then. Um, what should we do? Inside into the back. Show you quickly in the back seats. As you can see, very, very clean in the back of there. I don't think that they've been used, to be honest with you. So anyway, let's have a quick look under the engine bay. I just leave it to a minute, I don't want to go above 10 minutes because it makes the video too long. So I'll just show you under here quickly. As you can see, it's very clean, no oil. I can see. And there's no oily residue at all on the engine, it's very clean. So, there you go. I think the only detrimental thing I could pull up on is the steering wheel. Um, it's a shame, obviously, somebody's used it with a, probably a pair of gloves. I've seen that in the past. Um, maybe a work gloves or something like that, and it's just ripped it a little bit, which is a shame because it, it kind of uh, deflects away from the rest of it, which is really very, very good for the money. Um, as I say, Hopefully you're happy with that. I've also done a 360 degree internal shot, which will be just down below. Uh, if you click that link, it'll give you a better feel for the inside of the car. And you can actually zoom in um, and it, it, it puts you in position of the vehicle, if you like. Hopefully the steering wheel won't put you off too much. Um, and if you want to go ahead and come and have a look at it, please give me a call and we'll go from there. Phone's ringing again. So anyway, Cathy, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.